Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And as a large request from a lot of people out there, everybody wants to know how to cook with your preps. How do you do it? What can you make? So we're going to start a series, one video a week, and we're going to cook with our preps. And we're going to try to make something really good with what we have. Today, what you're going to need is a little bit of oil, which a lot of the stuff you all should have just a little bit different on your taste. So we got to start off with oil. We have an Alfredo sauce here. All right, this Alfredo sauce is really good, but you could also just use regular tomato sauce and season it up. Or you, if you wanted tomato, you know, spaghetti sauce, you could do that. We need one onion. Now, if you are in a situation where more than likely if you're in the country or whatever, or you have some place you're gonna have a garden, maybe you're gonna plant some of these different things. So one onion, in this little tin here, we have some tomatoes, all right? Little cherry tomatoes, onion, a can of spinach, bow ties, all right? Pasta, and a canned ham, and assorted spices. Now, you get out your Coleman stove. I'm, I'm in my garage doing this video. Everybody wanted to know, can you cook, you know, inside with a Coleman stove? As far as I'm concerned, folks, yes, you can. Um, but it, it's all up to you on what you feel safe doing. You need a cast iron frying pan, like one of these. A pot with water in it, all right, right here for our pasta. The stove itself. And then, make sure you have a, a towel because it probably could get pretty warm. Or maybe some pot holders or something to handle the hot items that are gonna be here cooking. The last thing is, is a Bic lighter. Make sure that you do have a Bic lighter. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna chop up a bunch of this stuff and we're gonna come back and start putting this together and get things rolling here. So stay tuned, here we go. We're gonna start doing these recipes so you guys know how to cook with your preps so you can be prepared and ready for any situation. All right, folks, so what we did was we chopped up the onion, all right? You can chop it up however you want. Just chop up the onion. We took the tomatoes, all right? The tomatoes are in here. We took these tomatoes and we just chopped them up, just cut them right in half so they're ready to go. You take your ham and you take the ham, when you take it out of the can, cut it right in half so it's not so thick. And this way here, then you can just take and do slices and then you can just do equal slices so everybody gets a nice chunk of ham, all right? Now this meal would probably feed four people at least, okay? Now I wanna show you a little trick because we're putting spinach in here. So the biggest thing you gotta remember is you gotta have a handy dandy can opener. Manual can opener. If this doesn't have a pull top, you're screwed. Then you're stuck trying to do it with a knife more than likely you're gonna cut your finger off or do something like that. Go to the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, whatever, Dollar 25, you can pick one up. I'd suggest picking up quite a few. So what we wanna do with this is, <clears throat> now I do have a little bit of cooking in my background. Whether you people choose to believe that or not. Um, I did work for two years at a French restaurant. Now I always keep a bowl handy right here. All right, this just has garbage in it. So you're not running back and forth. Now we want to strain this spinach. So get yourself some paper towels. You could use a towel if you wanted. Um, maybe you have a cheesecloth that you could use or whatever else we want to just strain some of this out. So we're going to just let this go like this. dump the rest right into here. Now, did I not say you probably won't get messy, but you're gonna like the end results. Now just squeeze. Squeeze lightly because it'll go everywhere, folks. All right? Now this is something you can do on the fly, you know? So you wanna try to get out majority of that moisture. All right? So then you end up with something like this, where it looks like it just came out of the can, but it's not dripping wet. 
And we're going to set that right there on our board. I'm going to get this out of our way. Bic lighter. Everybody should have Bic lighters and everything else. We need to get this stuff going. So what we're going to do is turn on some gas. All right. Okay, now our water is going. And let's get our, uh, our frying pan going here. All right. If you have a long handle lighter, that works perfect for lighting this so you don't have to worry about singeing any of the hair or anything on your fingers. Now I want to turn this down. And then all we're going to do is take a little bit of your oil, roughly probably about two tablespoons. I'm just going to eyeball it. All right. And then we're going to let that heat up. We're going to get the onions and stuff going, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, our oil's getting good and hot. So let's just dump in our onions here and let those slowly start to... This is where your grill stuff comes in handy. All right. Now, if you've never cooked on a gas stove before, it's a lot different than cooking on a regular stove. All right. Now, I'm not going to put a lot of salt in here because the ham, the canned hams have a lot of salt intake in them. All right. But I am going to put a little bit of white pepper. And I do, as I've done videos on, folks, these are small little Marlar bags. I have all my spices and everything stored in. And this way here, they're ready to go. I can grab them and I'm out the door and I have spices. And these are great because they are resealable. I'm just going to just put a little dash of that in there. I'm going to leave that just for a minute. Other seasonings that you are going to need for this recipe. Some parsley flakes. You'll see why we're going to be using those. Italian seasoning. You know. Uh, salt and some paprika. So that everybody here knows what is going on. Alright, now we've got this here going. Our water is starting to boil. So it looks like we need to get our pasta into the water. The good thing with cooking with gas, folks, is it goes quick. See, yeah, baby, she's hot. So if you are using a Coleman stove in your house, I would suggest that you use it on your stove top. If for some reason you only have a glass top, or something like that. So this way here, if something boils over, the heat from the stove and everything, it's not gonna hurt it because it's already used to being hot. Don't do it on your counter because it could melt your counter if you don't have, uh, you know, if it's a, a laminate or something like that. Do it right on your stove or do it on a separate metal table like what I'm using here. This is just a Cabela's metal table. And this way here, you're staying safe and you're making yourself dinner. Now, so once you get your onions and stuff, the way you like them, everybody likes theirs a little different. A little golden brown is good. All right. Our pasta over here is going. We're doing really well here, folks. I can taste a good meal coming for you and your family when you're cooking with your preps. Now, it's time to add the ham. Now, remember, this ham has already been cooked. So... All you have to do is basically heat it up. All right? And we're not putting the spinach in. Just the ham. Make sure you test your handles here. that a stir and let that cook 
But this is so very simple for a lot of you out there, so you'll be able to cook for your preps. So that's why we're going to be doing this series on cooking with your preps, giving you ideas, recipes, and the whole nine yards so that you all know what you're looking at and how to do it yourself if you don't know. And obviously through all the comments and emails, people wanted me to do more of these cooking videos because I have done a few about a year ago and everybody wants to see more of this. So here it is folks. I hope you're enjoying and stick around. We got to finish heating this up. Noodles should be just about done. And then we can start putting this whole thing together and have a great meal. Okay, folks, we are ready to start to put this dish together. Now, before we dump our water, now you could do this in your sink in an emergency situation or, you know, dump it wherever you have to. I brought a strainer and stuff out here so I didn't have to run inside so you guys could see what I am doing here. First thing we're going to do is, remember that spinach? We're going to take that spinach and we're going to incorporate this spinach into our meat right now. Just enough to start heating it up. All right, we're going to get that cutting board out of our way. All right, now we're going to take this spinach, grab your pot holder because if you're cooking with cast iron, the handle will be high. Now utensil wise, you guys may want to go to like the dollar store or something like that and buy just these cheap plastic spoons and put them in a tote labeled emergency cooking. And this way here you have all these types of supplies all ready to go. All right, so we see we're just mixing all this up like this. Get it good and mixed up. Break up all those big pieces so everybody can share on the love that's in this frying pan right now. We have our onions, our spinach, the ham, a little bit of black pepper. That's about all you're going to need. All right. Now, we can go ahead, turn our heat off. The stove is off now. Make sure that the stove is off. And when you are done, if you would like, you can disconnect your gas. And this way here, you can take that and you can store it either out in your garage. Keep the plastic cap that comes with these one pound cylinders. You can put those on there. You don't have to worry about the gas leaking. All right. So we're just going to give this another quick stir here. And then we're going to grab our other pot holder because this pot is really hot. And we're going to strain off our pasta, like so. All right, get all those out of there. You always have a few that stick to the bottom. Don't worry about those folks. They're all going to get incorporated here in a second. Grab your Alfredo sauce. This is the star of the show. Like I said, you could use a spaghetti sauce, a tomato sauce, and you can spice it up and everything else. But, you know, I mean, if you have a working pantry on things that you eat and stuff in an emergency situation, there's no reason not to use it. So now we got that. <clears throat> now we're going to put our pasta back into our bowl here before we plate this. So now we take our pasta. And you just kind of pour it slow. You're going to have a few that run away on you. All right. See, we had one that ran away. We're just going to throw him in the pot because I know the table is clean. Now, if you didn't know if the table was clean, you're cooking outside or whatever else, you may not want to do that. This is my bag of spices, folks. All right. I keep them in here. Once I'm done, I'll suck all the air back out of this and then I'll store them back in a cool, dry, dark place. All right, so having all your spices all ready to go is a bonus. Now, get our, our bowl here. If it was an emergency type situation, I would suggest you're just going to eat right out of the dish, right out of the pot. But I'm going to plate this up and put it into a bowl so everybody can see. Now, Tomatoes. Remember those tomatoes that we diced up? We're going to take those, add them to our pot. 
Not the whole pot, just the tomatoes. You know, some things happen. All right, now we have to get all of our goodies from here in to here. Now for some of you, cast iron may be a little difficult to handle because it's so heavy. But it is the best thing to cook with or to have in an emergency situation because of the fact, folks, that you can take and cook over an open flame in a fire or anything like that. Now, I want to move some of this stuff out of the way here because we're going to get this out of the way. Put that over there. We're going to take our dish. Set it right there. Now we're going to add our sauce. Now, if you were in a pinch, what you could do to stretch this, because there's always stuff left into the jar, right? I mean, so you could put a little water in here, mix it up and pour it back in here to get all of your product. Now we're gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Just to give it some good flavor. All right, that's good. Seal that back up. A little dash of pepper, white pepper. White pepper is not as potent as black pepper, so more people can tolerate white pepper than they can black pepper. <clears throat> a little dash of salt, not a lot, because the meat is already salty. So we're just gonna put just a little salt in there. And the paprika and parsley come up next. Now, we have to stir this up. Test your handle, see if it's real still hot. All right, it's cooled off a little. Let's just start mixing this up. Oh, this smells so good, folks. <clears throat> I bet you wish you had some smell-o-vision. This would feed a family of four easy, easy, and everybody probably could have seconds. Oh, look at that. That is just amazing. It smells so good. Oh, yes. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to take and dump most of this right into our bowl. So you all can see the loving that is coming out of this here pan. Now we want to get all the loving, right? I mean every last drop. Alright. Now we take and we smooth this out a little. Now just because, folks, like I have said, emergency situation, you're cooking with your preps, right? It doesn't have to be one of these throw together, always have a towel because it's gonna be hot wherever you're cooking because if you don't have power and it's summertime like it is here in Florida, it's gonna be hot. But it doesn't have to be, you know, like, you're just throwing something together to eat. You can still enjoy things. A little bit of parsley on the top. All right. <clears throat> little bit of paprika. Oh yeah, baby. Feeling the love here. I'm going to grab a camera and bring you up really nice and close. Hold on. So as you guys can see, it is a beautiful, beautiful dish. And we made it with our preps. Everything was done with our preps, folks. Everything. We've got all of our ingredients in here. 
or ham, onion, spinach, tomatoes, Alfredo sauce, spices. We did it with our preps. This is an awesome dish to make in an emergency situation. It's going to fill your belly. It's going to make you feel full. It's going to make everybody happy. You're going to feel warm inside, no matter what the weather is outside or anything else. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, we're going to start a video series. We're going to be doing this for a while, cooking with your preps. If you have something you'd like to see me cook with, or if you have ideas you'd like to see done, send me an email, comment in the video, whatever. And I'll see what I can do about doing a video on those particular products. And this way here, we all can learn that cooking with your preps is very easy and can be very nutritious if you pick the right ingredients and very tasty if you are prepared in what you need to be the best cook during the emergency situation. So until next time, folks, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.